Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao, and let's talk about Yun Li. Yun Li was a character that no one asked for, but we needed her. And let me explain you what I mean with that. In Honkai Star Rail with the DPS roster, we have had a very big curse, and especially for the destruction characters, that every new DPS was going to be way better than the new one that was going to come out. And we saw this with Firefly, Ekron. Ekron is not a destruction character, but, you know, add her in the mix. We had a lot of things and a lot of strategies and a lot of characters out there that were just incredibly strong for a DPS option. I still think that Firefly and Ekron are, like, at a position right now where they're still super dominant, like, way more than the rest of the DPS roster. But Yun Li was needed. If we look back at all the other DPS characters that we got, we got Blade. Blade was very nice. And we got Dill. Dill absolutely destroyed all the charts, right? Extremely insane damage. Then Jing Liu was after that and she took over. She was also a destruction character. And the cycle just went on and on and on and on. And especially with Firefly also being a destruction character, yet again, this insane powerhouse on this path, you know? And Yun Li is not bad. Don't twist my words here, you know. Yun Li is an extremely good and fun character. And that is what it is about. This whole patch is just a very weird, who should I pull for? Is this character even worth it scenario, right? This whole patch, 2.4, is extremely weird. And I know that. But it was needed. We need more of these patches where we are actually deciding for our accounts i've been saying this almost every single video now this game is evolving and we need to evolve with it we need to step up with it right and yun lee is a character that really specializes in counter-attacking, follow-up attacks. It's that whole boat, right? And if you like this playstyle, yun lee is going to be very good for you. yun lee is not a bad character. The opposite, she's very, very good and her unique playstyle gives her a certain way of life, you know, in a way. You can do things that other characters cannot do. You can play in a certain way or you can have a certain strategy that other characters can simply just not do. And this makes Yun Li an extremely fun and engaging character to mess around with or to pick up. On top of that, if you did not have a physical maybe DPS yet or the physical element for the physical weakness on the enemies, then Yun Li would have also probably been a very good pickup for you if you have the right scenario. Now, Yun Li, of course, has, has her flaws. First of all, she does not have signature supports yet in the game which i think will be in the game i think we're going to get a support like a ron may or a robin for certain characters in some way robin is of course that for yun lee because not only does robin buff follow-up attack she also gives that physical bonus damage and stuff but i'm more talking about the energy regen support for my previous video the energy regen playstyle, the energy regen harmony character, the five star version of that, is a very, very big thing in this game. What we need. This character will come along the way, I think. It is almost impossible for Ting Yun from the end of time that she will be like the best and most crazy battery support that we have in the game. You know, there's just no way that she's going to be a four star force to be reckoned with from now to the end of time, right? We have to get some sort of five star dedicated support for that and when that support comes out yun lee gets her puzzle piece same way as sparkle was a puzzle piece for dale we're going to get more puzzle pieces along the way and this puzzle piece is going to be great for multiple characters like argenti and we're going to get more puzzle pieces like that but yun lee was needed because she broke the curse of honkai star rails never-ending cycle of just having newer characters being better and not fun and Yun Li was a saving grace for that, right? I don't have Yun Li, you know. I did not care about her playstyle, but a bunch of people did. And she was not better than Ekron. She was not better than Firefly. She doesn't have a better setup than them. But she had a different playstyle. She was a breath of fresh air. And for the first time, she was a destruction character that wasn't better than the previous one. And I want Honka Star Rail to continue with this. I want them to bring more fun to the table. And on top of that, you know, Yun Li is a great character. So you can do a lot of cool things and she has good damage. Of course, you need that from a new character. You know, you're not going to summon for a character if it's just uh, an Arlon, you know. <laughs> you want some, you know, you want some stability in your character. You know, you're not going to waste your tickets and, and just not get something good. But I want fun and mechanics and playstyle and team building 
over just brokenness. And I think that Honkai Star Wars is trying to make this step in the future. And Yun Lee is a clear example of this being in the game. And JQ is another one. There's a new character that we have live right now. That's the dedicated, quote unquote, dedicated Ekron support. He's also very good in a way or very bad in a way for your account if you do not have a certain setup. And I do want Honkai Star Wars to just create puzzle pieces or certain play styles for fun. And Yun Lee a hundred thousand percent brings this to your account. I think a lot of people can tell me in the comments down below as well that can really like enlighten us on how actually how fun Yun Lee is. Now, Yun Lee has a bit of an issue with her team building where we said before but you have more ways for success right sparkle is also a banner right now and i still think that sparkle is a very great option for yun lee she can be very synergistic with yun lee especially you have like other characters like ting yun or maybe ho ho on your team sparkle actually gives you a lot of value because this is a very high skill uh, efficient team right yun lee wants to constantly use her skill points because she wants more energy and she wants to get her flow going Hey, if Ting Yun can use her skill point for her ult uptime, that's good. And Ho Ho for her cleanse, her ult uptime, her healing, whatever you know. If everyone can constantly use her, their skill points, Spark is actually a very great option for that as well. So we have a lot of options for her. It's just that you need all the puzzle pieces to really make her work. If you do not have that Ting Yun, Yun Li is going to fall off. If you do not have that Robin, she's going to be significantly weaker. If you do not have that Ho-Ho, you're going to miss out on a lot of energy again, you know? So, Yun Li is in a weird, weird boat. Fear not, though. I do think that Counter is going to be a completely new playstyle, like all the other things that we have. It's going to be a subcategory in the follow-up attack roster. That's what I think, at least. And that will be very nice, because I think that Jade also brings this to the table. Jade is a follow-up attack character that is synergistic with damage dealing, speed. It's not the usual Dr. Ratio, Topaz, Aventurine style, right? It's not straightforward. We have a little bit of more thinking here and a little bit of more, oh, okay. So what can we, we, we you know, what can we do with this character? Yun Lee, Jade, all of them, Clara, they fall under that boat of counter reactive playstyle. And I think it's just a subcategory in the follow-up attack roster, which is very good because I want more subcategories in this game. I've talked about it in previous videos. If we have DOT, we can play DOT normally, or we can have maybe a implemented crit character that can crit off of DOT. Then we have the crit subcategory. And we can go on and on and on with all of these subcategories. This brings more joy, more strategy to Honkai Star Rail. And Yun Li, yet again, is a shining bright light for more diverse thinking and more future characters you know Yun Lee is really a character that we need it and i am very happy and pleased to see a character like Yun Lee in the game even though that people were skeptical you know like yeah this skip this character easy skip go save your tickets for our upcoming dps or whatever yes that might be true if you really want to min max your account to the full maximum capabilities you know if you're a free to play brother and sister out here we always say this, you know, if you really want the max, then maybe yes. But if you have the right setup, you have the right puzzle pieces already for her, she can pop off and you will have a lot of fun, 100%. She's not going to be an Acheron, she's not going to be a Firefly for you, but she is going to be very fun. And I think that's a lot of more characters out there that are kind of the same boat as her. I think that Dill and Jing Liu are the same boat as well. They're strong characters, they bring a lot of value. It's just that they're not on the same level as the other two, Firefly and Acheron, but they bring so much joy and different type of playstyle. You know, the skill consumption of Dill, the high value, the high investment, and the insanely high skill ceiling with it, you know, that you can do so many cool things. If you have a insane build, you know, you can go off, you know, there's a lot of cool things to deal. Same with Jing Liu, you know, her strong base ground, her 50% crit rate that, you know, she can give to herself where, you know, to build crit rates, she's very comfortable. When Ice is going to be dominant, if it's a weakness again, she's going to pop off, and you can do a lot of cool shenanigans with her, with Ting Yun, and maybe Bronya, whatever. You know, like, these are all very fun characters that have a very good base ground and good strength to them, but they just ask a little bit more. And I love those characters more than Firefly and Akron. I think Firefly and Akron are extremely boring to that core because it doesn't really matter what you do, you know? And I do hope that we're going to keep up this pace. If we're going to get more characters like Yun Li, Dale, Jing Liu from now on, 
this game is going to be very positive and of course there's going to be more broken characters they it is hunkai star rail so that is going to happen also in the other paths you know like 100 there's no way ranmei is going to be number one for the end of, until the end of time right like we're going to get a very good nihility version of her or even a better harmony you know that's what makes ranmei also so broken by the way because if we want to power creep ranmei we need to get two more ranmeis like we need to get a ranmei that does exactly what she does but better and then another one because you can just put run man the other team right so this game is 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 very immersive is very how do you say that like there's a lot to it there's going to be a lot of puzzle pieces that are going to be very good for a very long time and you're only limitation is your imaginary in that way you know where you can do so many cool combinations i would love to hear your guys stories and takes on this as well on yun lee yeah maybe you hate yun lee and maybe you thought it was a boring character but what did you actually think about her kit and just her whole existence you know because i also think that her design is not that great that's my opinion though and i think her kit is extremely fun I didn't need a physical and I don't like follow-up attack. So, you know, she doesn't fit in my account and, and, and just my playstyle. But objectively speaking, you cannot just hate on her, right? Like she has a very intriguing thing to her. You cannot deny that. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about her. Even if you don't have her, you do have her, you know, if you are clearing content. Like how you're clearing content, what your team setup is. I would love to hear all of the Yunli stories because, you know, she's in the past now. We have to wait for a rerun if you want to get have her. And I do think that her rerun, I speculate, her rerun to be better than her banner right now. Because I think when the rerun is there for Yunli, we're probably having more puzzle pieces. What I said in the beginning which makes her better and we're probably going to have more things that actually make her stronger so if you really like yon lee don't worry the rerun is probably going to be a better option for you and that's going to be uh, a thing with more characters i think like characters like jade maybe the third rerun for argenti you know those were also very awkward those are probably going to be way better as well than their second rerun or their first debut you know the debut of Argenti was rough. So I think all of this makes sense. I think we should let Honka Staro do their thing. I think they have a very big future for us with a lot of new characters that are going to be very, very cool. And I do think that everything is going to come together and the puzzle is going to be finished someday, but we're just missing the pieces. So it looks a bit awkward maybe if you would hang it on the wall, you know, <laughs> but don't worry. I think this was very needed and I think this whole patch was weird, but needed. Hey, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I would love to hear you guys' takes on that. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. And if you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. I love you all. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care. Peace.